Who is? Alright, 25, let's go. We're gonna jump in. Uh, people, I think I didn't get it quick. The last period got 94%, which means they all got A's in the great book. I'm telling you right now, if you guys hit those magic numbers, you just all get an A on that vocab set. So, like, do your best. And if you're not in and you can't see the board, there's your echo, people. Go.
And again, if you got nothing, <coughs> tell your group what you think you know about the Bill of Rights. Okay? 40 seconds, people, go. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm not sure I'm correct on this, but I, was it a declaration of independence? Ladder, ladder for me, sir. I'm not sure if it was the Declaration of Independence. Oh, some of the ideas are based on the Declaration of Independence, uh, but this is separate. Okay, they are founding documents, both of them, but they are separate. Aiden, what do you got, sir? And uh, okay, Federalist, Anti-Federalist, nothing. What do you know about the Bill of Rights? Um, they are rights that don't just no. <laughs> <laughs> what what freedoms do you care about, Aiden? Freedom of speech, guess what? It's in the Bill of Rights, okay? A lot of the rights that we think of, they're part of the Bill of Rights, people. Uh, Joel, what do you got, sir? What do you remember about feds, rights, or feds, or Bill of Rights? Wow, nice. The Federalists wanted to create a stronger central government. Yeah, we reviewed from last week. The Articles of Confederation were too weak, so they wanted a strong central government. Beautiful. Let's go with one more, one more. Helena already went. Evangelo, what do you got, sir? Um, Federalists are people who support their system of government. They do support their system of government. Specifically, though, they support the system of government that would be uh, in the Constitution. All right, nice. Here is our job today, people. Uh, this is probably going to lead into tomorrow based on what I saw for a period, and that's okay. So if it is in red, it, you are reading it. If it's in black, I am reading it. As soon as we'll be able to determine if the <coughs> ideas about representation and democracy were more accurate and create a. Nice. So you are going to get assigned a political party at the end of the period, and at the end of the period, you will be responsible for creating either a Federalist or Anti-Federalist campaign poster, okay? Uh, but we'll talk about that more when we get to it. Here's your job. Uh, if you are at a table of four, there's going to be two groups. This is partner work. If you are at a table of three, you will be doing this as a trifecta, okay? As a group of three. So, go find this assignment, Federalist and Anti-Federalist campaign posters. One person in every partnership makes a copy and shares it with their partner, okay? If you are a group of three, you are going to do this as a group of three. Who's the partners here? You two? That's weird. Okay, do you. Who are the partners here? Yeah. Okay, so Evangelo and Matthew? With this cross diagonal stuff. All right, who are the partners here? No, no, there's no group support. There's a partner with one point. Two and two? All right, cool. And Nayland's group, who are, who are partners? Oh, this is YouTube and YouTube. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, who are the partners here? All right. Figure it out or I'll help. Oh, it's good. You can do it. Oh, no, you got this? Okay, good. Just share. I'll leave it for part of the I'm going to do this. 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 You guys got about one more minute. Make sure your names are at the top. The colors of your partner's title matter. Okay? So, yeah. yeah. Uh, there will be a blue partner and a purple partner. It's 11, right?
Alright, very beautiful. You guys ready to rock? Okay, so I'm going to point this out. If you are a blue partner, guess what? You're responsible for taking the blue notes. If you're a purple partner, you're responsible for the purple notes. Greens for everyone. Okay, both you and your partner or partners, if you are that group three, uh, are responsible for green. Okay, uh, if you are in a group of three, there are two purples because there's a little bit more work for the purple group. Just going to throw that out there. Okay, so uh, just be aware of that. All right, so uh, just like some of the people up here brought up when we talked about federalists and anti-federalists, these are the two groups that had arguments as they were creating a new government. Okay, sorry, that rain's kind of loud. Federalists, again, they argue the Articles of Confederation were too weak. Only a strong national government can overcome the difficulties that existed within our brand new republic, and liberties that could be included in the Bill of Rights are covered in state constitutions. So they said the states would protect the people's rights. Okay? Anti-federalists were on the other side of that, right? They said states would no longer have power to bring money. That scared the states. National government would be given too much power, and they would be tyrannical or abuse their power, and the people would suffer. And so they said, if we're going to have this constitution, we got to have a Bill of Rights to protect specific rights that all Americans should have. Okay? Don't worry, I got some slides for both sides. Don't trip. Dang's looking around like super nervous and scared. I got you, Dang. Okay? I promise. All right, Federalists, group that wanted to ratify the constitution. You should like write that down. Okay? After the constitution was written, it had to be adopted by every state because the Articles of Confederation required unanimous vote. Okay? Federalists went around the country and they advocated for adopting the Constitution. They also wrote these documents and they got printed in papers all across the country called the Federalist Papers. So like one of these essays would be in a newspaper every few weeks. Well, the people that were against the Constitution were called the Anti-Federalists and they responded to the Federalist Papers with their essays that would go in newspapers for people to read. Okay? So, you end up with these essays arguing for and against a strong national government or a constitution or not, okay? So who are the big dogs, the famous people when we talk Federalists? We're talking James Madison and Alexander Hamilton, okay? Madison's super important. He wrote the constitution for the most part, okay? He's a farmer, a plantation owner, a diplomat, and he, again, is one of the framers or primary writer of the constitution. Alexander Hamilton was actually an immigrant, fought in the Revolutionary War. Uh, he's a banker, and he becomes the first Secretary of the Treasury. He's also the guy that's on the $10 bill, okay? At least for now. I think they're gonna add Harriet Tubman pretty soon. You guys know that? Next print, I think they're adding Harriet Tubman to the $10 bill. Good stuff. Maybe it's a 20, I could be wrong. All right, what kind of people supported <coughs> the Federalists? You got bankers. The elite, the rich, people that liked the British form of government. They wanted that strong executive, okay? And so, they wanted somebody that could be an executive like a president, and that's why the symbol that kind of represents them is the crown, okay? They also believe in a strong economy, right? Thriving economy, after Alexander Hamilton. He's kind of the creator of our economic system, if you're not aware. <coughs> All right, Dane, did you get all your notes? You good? You feel good? Okay, you looked nervous before. All right, people, here's your job. You're gonna find an image that represents the Federalists. You may not put a dead old white man in that box. Your image needs to be something that symbolizes their beliefs, okay? So don't go find a picture of Hamilton and stick it in there. Not gonna work. Find a symbol that represents the Federalist beliefs. y'all about 90 seconds. Make sure you and your partner agree about what kind of picture should be there for the festival. Just notice I'm confused. Where does this go? It goes right here. It says insert image that represents this group. Not just Google their names and put some person in there. Just do them Federalists, we'll do the Anti-Federalists in just a minute.
<coughs> I just sent. I just put it because uh, they're writing the the thing because they think it's weaker. I define. Oh. All right, anti-fed people. Here we go. Anti-federalist group that developed the Constitution gave too much power to the national government. They were afraid of government power, okay? And they believed that this new Constitution would not give enough power to the states. The states should have power. They're states' rights, folks, okay? Group would not agree to ratify the Constitution unless they added that Bill of Rights. And again, those are the first ten additions or amendments to the Constitution. And yes, it does list out specific rights and freedoms that we have. So who are they? They're people like Thomas Jefferson. Okay? Thomas Jefferson, of course, is a farmer, scholar, founding father, and primary author of the Declaration of Independence. Remember, he's the guy that writes now that we should have specific, unalienable, which means you can't take him away, rights, life, liberty, to happiness, etc. right? So individual rights kind of folks. So who's gonna support the anti-federalists? You have farmers, which is a lot of the country, artisans, right? Uh, people who dislike the British form of government and or wanted more states' rights. So again, against the Constitution, unless they add a bill of rights, you have farmers, regular people, you have artisans, people that did not like royalty or the British form of government and wanted more states' rights. Bill of Rights, individual rights, farmers, artisans, right? Anti royalty, anti British form of government. Find something that represents that. Yes, sir? Do you have any tissues in your room? I don't, but I would love it if you might got me a new box. Would you mind doing that? Yeah. All right, don't forget to take the text. Thank you, sir. Everybody's screen. We can do this one together. Oh man, 
Bing's already like taking care of business over here. All right, beautiful. Do we have anybody that would like to read out loud? You guys all love hearing me talk. Does someone want to hear me talk? All right, here we go. <laughs> Federalist paper number 10, James Madison. It may be concluded that a pure democracy cannot fix the mischief of factions. If you're not sure what a faction is, I got a little vocab short down at the bottom. That is a group with similar views or goals. When the faction is more than 50% of the population, the tyranny of the majority will sacrifice public goods and rights of others. I'm actually going to stop it right there. Let's pretend right now that 52% of the people in this classroom decide that Frankie should get kicked out. In a pure democracy, what happens to Frankie? What is democracy? Majority rules. If over half the people decide something, it happens. If 52% decide Frankie gets kicked out, what happens? Frankie gets kicked out. Is that the kind of country you all want to live in? No. Yes. Okay. So that would be factions abusing their power. Okay. So a tyranny of the majority is when the majority of people in a group violate the rights of the people that are the minority. Okay. Keep that in mind. You'll need that. A republic, by which I mean a government in which people elect representatives to vote for them, promises the cure for which we are seeking. Where patriotism and love of justice will be less likely to sacrifice the country's interest for personal considerations. So he's saying that a representative democracy or a republic will protect us from tyranny of the majority. Okay? Okay. So what are our main claims and or evidence? So right now, I just want us to do the highlighted part. So take about 30 seconds, let's see what you all come up with, okay? So 30 seconds with your group, highlight what you think is the main claim in that document. Whole group is working on this together. Whole group, right now, you're just talking and highlighting. You don't need to type anything, people. Give you all about 90 seconds. What is the main claim here? Talk to each other, folks. You guys are like trained not to talk to each other. Your glasses need to talk to you. Not as much. Not as much as you What does that mean? Give you guys about 
two, one minute. Make sure you have your main arguments and or evidence. You can again, copy and paste it in or paraphrase it. And then you have those two questions to respond to with people at your table, to meet your partners. Go. I'm gonna have some folks share. What do you got? What's a better form of government than pure democracy? That's great textual evidence. What does that mean? What's his cure? How do you fix the problems with democracy? That's not what he argues. That's an anti-federalist argument. What's a republic? What is a republic? He defines it right here. A republic by which? Okay, good. If we elect people to represent us, then people are not directly voting. Who makes the rules in a republic? 
senators. Well, the representatives, one form of which could be senator. Okay. The idea here is that if you elected the best among us to be our representatives, are they going to abuse people's rights? If you elect the best people to be our representatives, are they going to abuse our rights? No. No. If they are the best, they're not going to abuse people's rights, right? So if we have representative <coughs> democracy, it prevents tyranny of the majority. That's the argument here. Okay? All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. <laughs> All right, Plankton Smith, anti-federalist, same thing. So here's what's going to happen. You guys are all going to scroll down, and you're going to work on this second anti-federalist document as a group, and then I'm going to call on some folks to share out. Okay? <coughs> so your whole group is highlighting the main idea and the evidence that supports it. Blue people are making bullet points in the main arguments within the document. It should match what y'all highlight. And then purple people are answering these two questions. What kind of representation does Wellington Smith want for his citizens? What is his reasoning? And in what group does he criticize? Why do you think that is? Who does he attack in this document? All right? Work with people, your partners specifically. Uh, I'll give y'all about three minutes to do. another minute and then I'm going to call some folks. Partner. 
I can barely hear you, Kenneth. I hear you respecting the speaker. Uh, I think this is what I heard, right, Nayla? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Representation should be a true picture of the people, right? So who should get elected? What kind of people should get elected? The best. Say that again? The best. The best. Okay. What do you mean by that? Yeah, be careful here. Okay, better yet, who should not get elected? Who should be the only people elected? Who are they worried about? Who did they attack? What do you got? The rich people. The rich, right? They are <coughs> that if you only elect the rich people, who gets left out of the decision making? The poor. The majority. Not, the, not just the poor, but everybody, right? So you have this situation where if you have only the elite, the quote unquote rich, the majority of people will not actually get represented. Okay? So you need to have so many representatives that you gotta make sure everybody is equally represented. So lots of representation is their big argument. Make sure it's not just the rich and the powerful because then the poor and the regular people, which is the majority, will not have representation. All right, people. Here is your next job. Part three, same thing. So now you're gonna go through and work with your partner and you're gonna analyze these primary source documents. If it is in blue, that is the blue person's job. That's finding the main arguments of the text and evidence that supports it. Purple is for the purple people. You guys are answering the text depending questions. Okay, what do I got? Three documents for you? I believe I got three. One, two, three, nine. Give y'all about nine minutes. If you are stuck, ask your partner. If you and your partner get stuck, ask questions. Be real, people. There are Federalist papers on both your unit one test and the benchmark. So, know this stuff. Huh? Tom Brady? Is that what you just said? Yeah, I look like I look like Tom Brady? I wish I was as rich as Tom Brady. But, okay. I said it's the blue. Hmm. <laughs> I've not heard that before, but... Never? No. Maybe without the beard. Maybe without the beard. Maybe. Damn. I've heard uh, that guy Holland. Tom. Tom. The soccer. No, no, no. On that yes. So that guy sucks. Oh my God! I was just saying, I heard somebody told me I look like him. That's it. Nothing. It's not about good and bad. Okay. Mbappe's better. Who plays better? Mbappe. Mbappe. I heard he's been on a downward spiral. Yo. Yo. Uh, choose what? Oh, part three. Part three. So what's the name of it? Federalist. Yeah. Federalist. But number 51, what do you got? Yes. That's number 51. That's right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, I'll make this one. Alright, I'll make this one. Remember, people, everybody's working on every document. Some people are figuring out the main points, some people are answering the questions, but everybody's working on every document. You gotta know both sides.
particularly notice that there is the uh, online you know, version. The paper is is my answer right Oh. About five more minutes, people. If you get stuck, ask your neighbor. If you and your neighbor are stuck, ask me. Pay me to help you. So what is he saying? The power of government should be. He's bringing up that, right? Huh? He's bringing up that we should have three branches. Why? So then have as little involvement as possible of, like, of the other branches. They should be separate from each other, right? So that nobody can influence the power of a different branch, right? He wants to make sure that no one group can overpower another group. So it's separate and nobody else can touch it. Usurpation means to like yeah. take over, right? So it's like usurpation of power, so like take power from somebody. Or violate rights. Nobody mm -hmm. uses that word anymore this morning, so don't know. Okay. Okay. Blue or purple? Uh, purple. Purple, okay. Uh, what do you call oh, There is one. How do they justify it? So these are two different authors, right? So he says a bill of rights, and he says a bill of rights. So what do they both want? Uh, yes, bill of rights. Okay, so that's what you would say. They both want a bill of rights, and then read them, and then say what, why they want that. Okay? Right. So both authors want a bill of rights because... And then that's it.
check in and then I'll talk to you about your campaign posters tomorrow. Okay. So right now have this conversation at your table. Whose ideas about democracy and representation were more accurate? Federalists or anti-federalists? Who was working better for democracy and representation? Who had the better idea of democracy and representation? Federalists or anti-federalists? Who would you support? You yeah, guys got 30 seconds. Talk to each other. Who would you support? Federal? Why? Why?
Uh, good morning. So today uh, is your review for the uh, test, which is tomorrow. So the practice test is posted up on the classroom. Um, so go to three questions. You know, if you miss them, review them. Uh, you can do review them until you get 100%. Um, you know, when you're done with the review, you, uh, you finish up your questions and so the chapter questions and the birth control assignment. Those two will be due by Wednesday. See about half of are done. Uh, just use that to review the test tomorrow, okay? So once again, finish the quiz, the practice quiz for your test. Finish your assignments, those will be due by Wednesday. All right, let's get that done. So we'll have our test tomorrow. Please finish up your food, guys. Don't spill it, put it away. Sorry guys, GM, Mitch, Eden, Brown, Boot, Ingo, Quinn,
you work on your quiz? Go ahead and keep working with these. You guys are you can get rid of Aiden. Did you quiz them? Todd, uh, you thought you guys two grand and then get to the other